Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college hoops. It's the Big Ten opener for Minnesota at number 13, Illinois. Christmas is right around the corner, and we've got a promo code. The code is NOEL uh, for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. The fighting Illini are minus eight in this one. The total is 149 and a half. Minnesota enters undefeated, six and oh, two, three and one against the number, while Illinois is four and two, three and three against the number, but they have played a really difficult uh, schedule. They have a win over number 21, Duke, a loss to number two, Baylor, and a loss to number 16, Missouri. So eight points is kind of a lot when it comes to college hoops. We've got Craig Trapp joining us to talk about uh, this big uh, Big Ten opener. <laughs> Craig, what you got for us? Well, when you look at Illinois, you hit it right on the head. They went out in the preseason and were like, or in the pre-conference games, and were like, we're going to go test this team because they expect uh, to be one of the teams not only to try to win the Big Ten, but to win it all this year. And Coach Underwood and company did a great job scheduling. And, you know, the win at Duke, I think, is going to end up looking really good as Duke gets uh, uh, better as the year goes on because Duke has a lot of talent, but they're just really young. And then, you know, the Baylor, I think Baylor's top two or three team in the country. So losing to Baylor when they were basically right in that game, they had about a four minutes really, really like Illinois to win this year. And I think they put a statement um, together in the opener here. And I know eight is a lot of points in college basketball, especially in conference play, but at home, I think Illinois takes care of business. I'm going to lay the eight points here against what I would consider in Minnesota the middle of the pack Big Ten type team. Yeah, this should be a good one for a Big Ten opener. Of course, you've got Minnesota coached by the son of Rick Pitino, Richard Pitino. Uh, and both of these teams have come out firing, averaging more than 84 points per game. But like I said, these schedules are not the same. Uh, Illinois has played the much tougher slate, and they've also played really well uh, underneath the rim, rebounding the ball extremely well, uh, averaging 46 rebounds a game. I think that's right, judging by my notes, but one of the better rebounding teams in the country and also shooting 53% from the field and 44% from the three-point line. So it's been a hot start for Illinois. So I think if you lay the points here, uh, this is probably a good team to back. Yeah, and I also think the over is a pretty solid play because I just think Illinois is going to be the best, uh, maybe top two team in the Big Ten as far as offensively. And I think they show it here. And I don't think Minnesota is going to be terrible on offense as well. I just don't think Minnesota is quite as talented, quite as deep, and quite as athletic. So I think that's where the difference lies. So I would definitely be on Illinois and the over but I'm going to take Illinois minus eight as my top play. Right, and Illinois should have uh, quite the motivation after their head coach, Brad Underwood, uh, said they had a lack of effort in their last loss. So I think he was trying to light a fire under that team after that loss to Missouri. Uh, that's going to do it for our College Hoops Talk here on Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Craig Trapp, as always. Thanks for joining us, Craig.